The creative industry is growing in leaps and bounds and for the Kaduna International Film Festival, the aim is to grow the creative industry in northern Nigeria and support emerging talents to build a career in film production. Film festivals are a link to building a network of like minds to discuss, plan and invest in their dreams. Israel Audu is a founder of Kaduna International Film Festival, and he joins me now to talk about prospects in the film industry, especially in the northern region. Good morning. Thank Good you morning. for joining us. Thank you so much. Uh, you recently concluded the fourth edition of the Kaduna Film Festival. Yes, yes, correct. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank now, you. talk to us how it has been over the years, the support, and how this has led to perhaps some level of growth for the movie industry in the northern region? Um, we started a festival in 2018, and we started at a time where, um, where there was no film festivals in northern Nigeria. Uh, we only held film festivals in Lagos, in Abuja, and other parts of the world. But in the northern part of Nigeria, um, we lack a platform where the creative industry come together to interact mm -hmm. and network. So uh, we started the festival in 2018, um, and went down to um, 2019, 2020, and here we are. We ended uh, the fourth edition last month, and um, there it has been a tremendous um, change over the years with support from the federal and state government. Um, but uh, more needs to be done to create more awareness, especially in the north. Because um, it's f a festival where people there, it has been difficult for them to to understand um, what a film festival is all about. And looking at the Carnywood as a whole, you know, the, it's it's new for them. Mm. For Nollywood, they have been there for long, and they know the importance and the the objectives of a film festival. So we we had to to talk to the Carnywood filmmakers, the actors, and those who who uh, the like minds in the creative industry when it comes to the Hausa movie industry and why they need to be part of the festival, why they need to submit their films for entries and why they need to interact with the Western world. And um, basically, um, we need more, we need to do more when it comes to the movie industry in the North. And the Kaduna Film Festival have come to stay. And um, so far, uh, they, they have been uh, they, they have come to understand with the terms of um, a film festival and uh, we hope to, to get more film festivals in the north mm. and how we can also interact uh, with Nollywood and all the woods in, in other parts of the country yes so basically they have been a tremendous support a change uh, with creatives in the industry uh, perhaps uh, the, the understanding, uh, your level of engagement with them, uh, which is one aspect I would like to uh, know, what has it been, talking about these people who are in the industry, making them understand why they need to be a part of this festival and how it is going to, you know, make them see that their potential is uh, out there and a lot of people can collaborate with them. Um, first of all, what I understood, wha what I understand with the the Carnywood or the Northern filmmakers, is that one they lack um, when it comes to communications, and they, some of them are reserved. They don't want to go out, you know, to interact with people. Some of them, if you interact with them, you understand that um, they only know how to speak Hausa, their own indigenous language. Mm. And so they see that uh, yeah. as a limitation. Yes, yes, for them. And then the the, the kind of movies they they do. Um, they, they feel like already Nollywood is already ahead of them. Even when they submit their entries, how will their movie go? Mm. So um, will this movie get a nomination? Will it get an award? So I think um, that has been a very big challenge for the Northern filmmakers. Um, but on our own part, we are also doing our best engaging with them and invo involving them in most of the activities. And why they need to be part of the festival, um, what they need to do, and then to, to, to get to where they need to get to. What prospects do you see for the movie industry in the North that is spurring you to take up these uh, projects? Um, I see the Carnywood or the Northern movie industry as a hub of um, entertainment where can boost the GDP of the Northern creative, uh, the, the North as a whole. And there is a not to explore in the north. 
we have a lot of talent. Some of them, they feel that they have to go to Lagos to make it. They have to come down to, to go to Abuja, or they have some of them, they even have to leave the country to make it. And they don't know that um, wherever you find yourself, these days we're in the world of social media, that um, where you do a short skit, you just post on Instagram or on YouTube, and then boom, you're out there. So I think um, a film festival such as this will create a linkage for filmmakers you know, to discover their talent and where they need to get to. And uh, for this year's festival, we brought in a star, Zach Oji, who came in to do a master class for actors. And I'm sure they enjoyed it. We did it free of charge for them. We did, you know, after the class, they also did a short film with mm. uh, the veteran actor. So I think it, it's a platform where they, we, we need to encourage the young talent to get to where they need to be. Right. How about the... Uh, um, colleagues who were who are still do part of uh, the Kanye Wood, for instance, and are also part of you know what we see in Lagos and have made themselves known, so to speak. Are you in connection with those ones to at least perhaps encourage them to see what you're trying to do? Um, there is a connection with um, the festival with those who who needs to get to where they're supposed to be. Um, d there are people who have not even get to know about the Kaduna Film Festival, and they're in the north already. Um, but we, we need to do, we're also doing our best with um, what we are doing, and then to get to most of these, um, the grassroots actors in the north. Um, we, ha we have the likes of Alilu Hu, Raham a lot of them. Uh, for those who are opportuned, to also feature in Nollywood movies, have, have understood the concept of films and film festivals. So um, we need to get and to, to bring out more of this talent. Um, Alenuhu and Rahama Sado, Hadiza Gabot, and lots of them, they have done their parts. And w we need more to bring them out. Mm. And that is why the festival is always there for them. And then um, I think um, in Kano and Kaduna, it's a place where we, we, we bring talent, more of the talent when it comes to the north. I think Joss also. So we want to see how we can reach out to other um, states in the north. Mm. We have Jigawa, we have Kastina, we have Zamfara. Um, even with the security challenge we have currently, um, we are also doing our best. Uh, looking at the, with the festival which held in Kaduna, yes. in Kaduna where people have seen Kaduna as a security, um, a place where people not, don't need to go to uh, because of the security challenge. Um, we did our best to still hold the festival, a hybrid festival, um, with maximum security during the festival. Right. So I think um, more needs to be done, even looking at the COVID challenges, the security mm -hmm. challenges, we still need to explore and do more. To the opportunities are out there for us in the creative industry. Yeah. And we are doing our best to see how uh, so, we so impact yeah, so the lives of what are your creators. plans in the coming years with exploring, doing more, such that to put the Kaduna International Film Festival out there on a worldwide scale, if, if my use the word, and such that it will groom talent. What are the plans? What are the projections? Um, in years to come, we would like to see that the Kaduna Film Festival have um, bring in talent. Uh, we will be able to compete um, with other um, creatives and likes, right? not just in Nigeria, but outside the country. Um, we would like to see people who will also get their movies, um, submitted for Oscars, you know, and compete with, the, with other worlds and then represent um, other places. Uh, we have also film festivals outside the country where we have um, partnerships with. So we would like to see um, the creative industries um, in the north explore to interact with other western world irregardless of um, your language your religion your tribe or your race and we want to also look at um, the the master classes which we've had we would like to bring out um, talent um, we would like to bring out an Iniedo in Kaduna mm. who will compete with other um, creatives. We would like to see that uh, we have people like R&D from Kaduna and R&D from Kaduna. So we want to in see people who are out there who have talent mm. and we are out there to support them in whatever business we have to support the creative industry in Kaduna, not just in Kaduna, in the north, 
in Nigeria and the world at large. So the film festival is out there for everybody to network, to participate, and then to communicate for everybody who wish to be part of the creative industry. Absolutely. You would recall that uh, some time ago when uh, there were Oscar, the, no the nominations came out, there were, you know, stories i think it was a uh, genevieve's movie that was picked yeah. and one other nigerian movie was picked as well and the indigenous language was what was used so language shouldn't be a barrier uh, as when it comes to the oscars and so perhaps that should be one of the points for projecting and encouraging uh, the northern movie makers to be part of this yes um very correct um looking at the genevieve's movie also it was also uh, an indigenous movie mm. where we had an infusion of Igbo in it, but it was disqualified because we, we had much of um, English. English in it. So, um, in the north, we have the Kaliwood where they, they speak purely Hausa in mm -hmm. their movies. And But, you know, we still have um, the challenges of technicalities that are used in the movies in the north, um, right. Kaliwood as a whole. So one of the challenges is there for them, th for us, that we need to look at. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, when you are submitting a movie for an Oscar, uh, you know, Carnywood, when you do a movie just purely house I, it's not just enough. So we need to infuse more of, you know, to, to get a balance of the language. So in as much as language is not, a, is not should not be a barrier, um, you need to balance the language mm. for you to compete. In, an, in a competition like Oscar. So um, that is why we still need to emphasize on, you know, projecting the Kano to the world, not just limiting them in the north or in Kano or in Kaduna or in Joss. So we need to show that the creative industry in the north can do f far much better than even the Nollywood. It's just that um, they just need more of um, the platform. They need the platform to showcase what they have. And I, and I must I assure you that we have talent in the North. In you the you, you spoke North. about uh, conservative, some of the um, movie producers in the North being conservative. Do you think that perhaps religion plays a major role here in their growth? Um, I would not say religion play a role. Um, religion is there also. You know, they have in, in, in the north, we have um, reservations uh, with whatever we are doing in the north. Uh, looking at, um, you know, most of the people who act in the Kalawood movies uh, are in a particular region. But we still have other relig regions, religions who feature in Kalawood movies. Really? So, yes, we have them. Um, and Asabi Madaki is a Christian, but she also acts in the Kalawood movie. So we have a lot of them who who are out there. So what the only problem we have in Carnywood, it's just that um, the religion, you know, when we look at the North as a whole, um, there is a law, they are always, we're always reserved with whatever we are doing. Mm -hmm. You know, even the hair we have to, for women, they have to cover their hairs and so on. So we have this challenge of, you know, the rules, the guidelines of a particular tradition. state, yeah, the tradition. So. For instance, a Kano, for instance, we have the Hizba, their own indigenous, their own uh, local um, security or police mm. that, that check, checkmates whatever happens in the north, even in movies. Mm. Recently, really? Yeah, so if we, we had um, a case where Rahama Sado had an issue, right. you know, um, because her, the clothes she wore showed her back and so on. So there is a lot that yeah, we have limitations right. in the north. Mm. So I think that also has been a challenge for the creative industry in the north. They cannot do some certain things just because of their particular religion. Mm. So, but um, that notwithstanding, the, the, there is a lot we still need to do um, in the, the creative industry in the north. Um, in every way, there is a way. So there is a Absolutely. lot. Yes. So w the platform is still out there, even right. even as much as the religion have um, limitations in the north. Um, we are also keen to open other opportunities All for right. the creative industry. All yes. right. And that's a fine place uh, to leave this conversation uh, this morning. Israel Audu, founder Kaduna International Film Festival. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right.